Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist and today we are checking out this new Artex Jelly Gouache paint. So, they're not quite jelly gouache because they're going to come in a different package but they apparently are not easy to fade. They're vibrant colours and they're made with less glue which means that there will be purer pigments with no bits in it. I have to say that this is sponsored by Artex this time so I am sponsored to review these paints so let's dive into this. They sent me a packet of paints which I will unbox with you guys. They sent me a mixed media pad which I guess is for these paints which will will use today and they also sent me a sketch book marker a sketch what am i how am i speaking a sketchbook for marker pens which looks really nice which i will use with my markers uh, at a different time just going to dive right into opening these up let's open up this package which looks really nice i really like the design on the front so apparently when you use them they are not so like they don't fade as much which is something I did notice a little bit recently about the jelly gouache was that they were like when they dried they were a tiny bit losing their pigment and their vibrancy which I was like hey I didn't notice that before but look here we go with our beautiful new set of pudding pudding gouache <laughs> doesn't quite have the same ring to it but it's kind of works because it does look like cute little tins of pudding and they have this like whale sealed rotating lid which is quite nice for easy access and I think it means that the paints don't dry out as easily which is very nice and it actually has the number of each color on it whereas the pigments on the jelly gouache they just have packaging over the top of them these are nice um there is a little bit of leakage here but that could just be because of the distance that they had to travel the rest are fine it seems would be cool what would be really cool is if they made these and then gave you like a really big white one in the middle that would be really nice so we have black Persian blue light yellow white bright red violet grass green burnt umber and ultramarine so nice colors so I'm gonna just put them like this so I can dip into them a little bit messy <laughs> but that's me that's my problem okay nice they look really nice and pigmented, to be fair. Um, the only thing is I don't know what to do with the lids now. I have to keep them away from the cats. They open very easily, which is nice. Better than the uh, <laughs> pain of the jelly gouache. And if any of you guys have had those before, you definitely know what I'm talking about. There we go. There is a lot left on the lids, so I'm just going to keep them in this like paint palette there so I can dip into them as well so they're looking pretty good so far I think we're gonna keep the black shut just because I'm not sure I'm gonna use it this time so let's just get into painting So first of all, I picked a landscape to paint and I just wanted to do something quite simple for the first one. I wanted to see how the paints layered, how they would be opaque on top of each other because that's something that's really important for me when I'm using gouache is that I want it to be able to layer and layer and layer. Um, I also had a little visitor who was watching me paint and uh, yeah, I really like this gouache. I think it's really durable, really opaque quite creamy uh, <laughs> if that's a term we can use for paints but it was really nice to use I uh, just use it with a little bit of water to make it more watery in some places and also just use it quite thickly in others to add a little bit of texture to my work but I think it turned out really nice this is like just a first pack practice piece and then I go on to paint something else and I think they both end up looking pretty cool I definitely like these paints, the access to them is nice and the way that you can just reseal them once you're done is really cool because I noticed that was a little bit of a problem with a jelly gouache, not super problematic but it was, it was drying out a little bit every now and then so I mean hopefully these will last quite a while and I will do a little update for you guys in the future but yeah I think they looked really good and they they seem really nice, the pigment, once it dried, it wasn't like um, 
turning grey definitely it didn't um, like it says on the box it didn't like fade at all here I am being stupid idiot because I thought these pages ripped out and I realized no it's a bound sketchbook which is actually nicer than ripping out the pages so I decided to just keep on using this paper and decided to test out the durability of the back and the front because it says you can use both sides of the paper and usually that doesn't work for me on sketchbooks because um, the paper's too thin or whatever but this time it was really durable and the paint doesn't show through as you can see which is really cool so kudos for them for this sketchbook I really liked the way that it held the paint and uh, yeah it was super durable I layered down loads of stuff on it and it didn't have any super wrinkling or anything it was you know it did buckle slightly but that's only because you are putting something down on paper but it was super nice I, I really enjoyed it I really like the way that it lies flat as well as you can see here I did a long picture and it worked out um so I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this paint over and I'll see you at the end for my final review Showing you what the gouache does, I really like it. I think it's um, really nice, solid gouache, and uh, yeah, I think it's very nice to be able to just like dip into it and use it. And uh, yeah, I really like the way that it turned out. This sketchbook's pretty cool as well because, as you can see, I've painted on both sides, like it said, and it is actually like fine. It's not going through. And yeah, I really like the way that this piece turned out. So let me know what you guys think about this pudding paint. Um, if you think it will be a good replacement for the jelly gouache or if you're gonna go back to the jelly gouache. Anyway, I thought I would try giving another paint to something else. I have wiped down the sides of these after use. This is my like painting rag. <laughs> it looks super gross, but it is clean. It's just filled with paint. Um, but yeah, so I think that really helped to keep the lids clean and fresh. I want to paint something else with these, something a bit more colourful maybe. So I was thinking I'm going to do, you know the screen grabs for Studio Ghibli? Well, I want to do like the title scene because they're always so colourful and really cute and I thought I would do the Ponyo scene and I thought I would just give another go to these paints. And it would be super nice. I'm going to use the sketchbook again because I really like the paper in it and the way that it lies flat. Um, so yeah, these are how the paintings from the other day are. Still very bright, pretty cool. So I'm gonna try and do something across this way now. And I think it's gonna be looking nice. I'm gonna put some tape down as well this time to see how the, the uh, paints do with some masking tape and let's see how we do.
and that is the final look of the three pages that I've made with the pudding paint or just gouache paint if you want to be a normal person <laughs> who doesn't have to name all their paints after food thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe all that stuff for the algorithm would be really nice thanks again to Artex for sending me these paints really enjoyed it and for sponsoring this video hope to see you guys next time bye